Hello crafty friends and welcome back or welcome if this is your first time here. My name is Laura and today I'm going to be using the eMark to show you how I created a birthday card go box in less than an hour so I can make all my birthday cards throughout the year as and when needed in just a couple minutes. So the first step to pulling all of this together was to cut out some card bases. I'm using US letter size cardstock and I'm cutting it in half at four and a quarter. And then I'm using my mini scoreboard to score the cards in half. And that is at the five and a half inch measurement. And then just using a bone folder to reinforce those creases. And I did this multiple times. So I have a bunch of card bases. I then picked out some patterned paper and some coloured cardstock and I'm just going to work through trimming all of this down. I'm working in layers so my solid coloured cardstock is going to be trimmed to be just an eighth of an inch shorter on each side. So this means that I'll have a nice white edge when I layer this on top of the white card bases. I'll then take the patterned paper and trim those down as well and again I'll make those a quarter of an inch shorter than the coloured cardstock pieces. These offcuts here I am going to keep. Um, the smaller ones are already the same width as the card and I'm just trimming down the longer ones to be the same height as one of the patterned, uh, sorry, one of the solid card bases. So once I've trimmed down all of those offcuts that I'm going to keep, I'll work on the patterned paper. I'm trimming a couple sheets at a time just to uh, save on time, I guess. And I'll keep all of those longer pieces and also these pieces that I cut off from the top because they'll come in handy to make some extra elements. This is definitely something that makes the most of your paper. And I think working like this with coordinating papers is a great way to make a whole bunch of cards or have a whole bunch of ingredients, I guess, ready to go to make cards. So I will save all those offcut pieces for later and then I'll move into my printing with the e-mark. So here I have one of the three line templates. I've used the Create app to access the templates that are pre-designed and you can just download them. They have them for all different themes and I've showed them in previous eMark videos how you access that website and download them. So do check out the playlist if you haven't done so already and that will show you how to do this. So I have a bunch of these designs that are all birthday themed and I'm going to print them out onto a series of paper and then I'll be able to cut these out and use them as elements for my cards. So I started off with this happy birthday print and I printed that a few times and then I have these white tags and I'm also going to print these so that I will have some matching gift tags available. And this way I can pull together a card really quickly and have a coordinating gift tag for whatever gift it is that I'm giving. So now I've moved on to the next design. This one is a two line design and I will use another two line design as well. And you just wanna keep going printing as many of these as you like and then just switching, sending the next print and printing that. So I work through quite a few of these and each time I make some coordinating tags. Once I've finished with this printing, I will then move on to make some coordinating ribbons and I'm using those same designs. I'm just going to the settings and changing it from a three or a two line print to a one line print. And then I'll be able to have just the element that I want. So the flowers from that first design or the party hats from that last design that you saw me do. So here's that element of the flowers. So I just used that top line printed over and over again and I flipped the image. So I copied it. So I have two of them and then rotated one of them around. And then here you can see that I have the party hats and I'm using the um, eMark ribbon, the 100% cotton ribbon. It prints wonderfully on this ribbon and also the ribbon guide. And then I used one final design, which is already a single line design. And I decided to add a little extra to those gift tags with that design as well. I think this one's really cute. It's got some speech bubbles and party hats and is very birthday appropriate. So now it is time to trim these out. You could definitely use scissors, but I decided to use some of my circle dies. I picked out a couple different shapes that fit nicely around the prints and I'm using my mini die cut machine to cut those out. So I worked my way through cutting each of these down and then I am almost ready to put together this box. And you might be thinking, well, why don't you just make all of the cards? And yeah, 
you could definitely do that. You could just spend a little longer and put all of these cards together. But I think it's really fun to have this like to go box ready. Birthdays always seem to sneak up on me, no matter how organized and prepared I seem to be. And some months just have all the birthdays in them. So I think having a box like this is great to just grab the elements and pull everything together. So while I was talking there, I also die cut some circles from my larger pattern paper offcuts and I've trimmed down those smaller pattern paper offcuts as well so they'll fit behind some of the sentiments. So now I'm just going to show you some examples of how this would work. You'd grab a card base, then a solid piece of cardstock, one of the patterned pieces of paper, and then just keep building from there, just picking and choosing the elements that you want and layering up the however you like, and you can pull together a card literally in a matter of minutes. So I think the start of the year is a great time to work on something like this because you can just spend, I mean, it was less than an hour and I was filming this as well. So probably take a little less time if I just worked away at it and didn't worry about like showing the steps I'm doing and keeping in shot and things like that. Um, so just spending a little bit of time pulling together a box like this could see you through the year. The great thing about this is you can theme it however you want. This is obviously birthday themed and very brightly coloured. You could have another one with a more mature colour palette or maybe a thank you card box. And I'll show you how I plan to organise all of this in just a moment as well. It's really great working with coordinating pa uh, pattern papers because however you mix and match them, they're going to look great. And you haven't pre-made the card. Sometimes I have a little pre-made card guilt. If I sit and make a whole bunch of cards and then somebody's birthday comes up, I feel a little guilty just pulling a card from my stash. I feel like I have to have made it personally for them with them in mind. And this really takes away that guilt for me. So now this is my favorite step, I have to be honest. This is organizing all of the various different pieces into my storage box. This is an artist caddy. You could use a caboodle or a toolbox or even just a shoebox with some dividers, whatever it is that you have on hand. And here I'm just picking the various different pieces and laying them in where they fit nicely. And um, yeah, I really enjoyed this part of this project. So I have my various different border strips, um, the long ones, the small ones. I've added the large circles up at the top there and the smaller section to the right. I've got the tags at the top that I can attach to gift bags. Then I'll roll up the ribbon and attach that. And then into the base of this piece, I'll put my card bases, my patterned paper, and also my solid cardstock. Now, at some point here, I realize I have missed a key part of my card making, which is, of course, envelopes. So I will grab some envelopes from my stash and add those in there as well, along with a glue pen so I can really just grab this and have everything that I need and I'll even include a pen so I really do have everything to make the card and to write the card. One thing that you could do that I don't show here is you could also print directly onto the envelope so the envelopes coordinate really nicely. So I'm just rearranging here so I can fit the envelopes. I just decided to stack some stuff up and there is plenty of room in this caddy. I could make easily double the amount that I've put in here and um, I might just do that. <laughs> so here it is tucked away and I'll show you a couple different still shots so you can see it all pulled together. And I just love how this turned out. I feel so on top of things and so organized. Famous last words, I am sure. Um, but at least I've got birthdays under control for a little while. <laughs> if anyone needs a birthday card from me, I should be able to grab this box and pull together a few pieces of paper, glue them down. I could even add some foam tape in there so we could have some dimension. And I'll be able to pull together a card really quickly to alleviate my card making guilt. Here I have just a few more examples of cards that you could make, but really there are so many possibilities in this tiny box. So hopefully you're feeling inspired to make your own card making go box, whether it's for yourself to be organized or a gift for somebody else. If you've enjoyed this video and you want to see more, go ahead and hit subscribe and ring the bell to be notified when I post a new video. That's all for me today. I hope to see you again soon. Bye for now.